Well, how do the chums? I am back and I am building my living ship. Holy fudge. Hello? What the fudge was that? Someone sounds like they've had their Weetabix. Where is it? There it is. I see you. I see you, you big sneaky critter. Holy f oh, great. The storm really just cleared five seconds ago. Oh, my God. I think I'm going to get hit by asteroids, people. I kind of want to see them, though. Oh, no, I fell in a freaking cave. It's not my day. I didn't even do my intro. Holy fudge. OK, right. I think it's time that we got out of this place, eh? Let's get in the ship before we get hit by a freaking rock. That falls from the skies. OK, inventory. Right. Exit shit. Now, hopefully I'm weather protected inside of here. We can but hope. We've got our Noro stem... Wait, wait. We've got ourselves a mature heart. Lovely. Okay, right. Sweet. Back out of there then. Right, well, what's next? Let's get into the log. I fulfilled the request of the void egg as best I can to understand it. I should await further contact from the egg. Right. Let's go. Tally ho! And away we go. Let's leave this hellhole behind. Goodbye, planet of frickin' nasty nerds. Ah, wrong button. Right. Now, I think what I should do is exit the clouds, aim my ship into dark space, somewhere around there would do. Yeah. Engage the throttle. Engage the pulse. Engage! Oh, fudge, that was short-lived. <laughs> Try that again. Engage! Okay, right. Now we've just got to wait for contact. That was bloody quick. Okay, quick menu. Well, you're a rather chatty little chap, aren't you? There we go. You're on the path. We see it. We understand where it leads. It's necessary. Perhaps we thank you. Perhaps. The words of the ship ring in my ears. They have real expression. An unsynthesizable quality. And yet, I see no pilot. Except the transmission! My dance with the strange life form... For I am convinced this ship is alive. Continue it. It has bound itself to me and this egg is the bridge. Bye. Okay, where do you go? All right. It says go to the gal galactic map. Okay. That's on current mission. Right, so we'll go. Oh, oh my God. Okay. No. Current mission. Okay. I can't see where it bloody goes. Oh my day, it's all the way around there. I've got to, I've got to do freaking yoga, people. Yoga. All right, let's go there then. Oh my days, now where am I going? Okay, okay, okay. Now I can see it. Fudge your neck, I nearly break my neck. There we go. And um, I think it's there that we're going to. It is. And we're away, and we're off. Heck yes. Oh no, wrong one. Okay, chums, well, we've, we've arrived, Kated. We've arrived, Kated, people. We've arrived, Kated. The void egg seeks a specific weld. Examine the egg inside of the inventory. Okay, where's my inventory? Egg of the egg. Okay, it's in this one. Where are you? Freak sake. Yeah, you can't really navigate. Oh, for fudge sake. I'm trying to scroll down on here. But look. Yeah. All right, there we go. Right, it's after a lush and viridant plant life. Okay. Well, that one's... That's it. I found it. Found it! Found it! Done! Okay, right, here we go. I'm on my way! Tally ho! 16 seconds, people. Don't you worry. I got your backs. So I can edit the Okay, well, I'm close enough. I'm really hoping I can spot the blasted thing. The last planet I was on was a freaking nightmare. I'm trying to find the blinking place out to go to. Right, let's um, fly in a little slow. Right, oh dear. Okay, the, the marker's vanished. All right, we'll just land here then, I guess. We'll land here. Here's as good as anywhere. Yeah. Sweet. Amongst these mushrooms. I wonder if the Smurfs are about... You know, they, they love mushroom like, little villages, don't they? 
Yeah, right, let's uh, get out of here then. Hello, smart! Okay, this has already been discovered by Meaty to 99. Okay. Enable the sweep scanner. Oh, good. Only 800 views this time, and it's quite a flat landscape. Lovely. Hopefully this is going to be a walk in the freaking park. I'm going the way that it's asking me to go. It's actually going up a second ago. It's going the right... Oh, no. It's going back up again. It's a bit janky, isn't it, this freaking scanner? Anyway... I'll see you when I get there, people. See you when I get there. Ooh, this way slightly. Okay, fine. Well, chums, we've located the cage it. There it is right there. Now, for whatever reason, you can't run when you're using this sweep scanner. So the actual... It still takes ages to get here. It really does. Anyway, let's lick it down here. And let's go and interact the cage with this. And let's go see what I've got to build this time. Up a child. Archive of Corvax Prime. It's interesting that it's related to Corvax Prime. A planet long begotten. And is now called Vo Void Prime, isn't it now? And links to the Void Mother. Retrieval in progress. Log follows. I'm loving all these particle effects. Freaking groovy. Carpus program concluded. Machinery optimized. Biological core. Unnecessary with correct local sensory throttle configuration. Yet non-convergence insufficient processed. Biogenesis may offer future refuge. Increased autonomy must be studied. Experimental synthesis unit operational. Awaiting biogenesis materials. These words are translated. Designed to be read by non-convergent entities. Were the authors working beyond their brief? Had they become divergent, lured by the flesh they had created? How many others have walked this same path of creation? And we've got to do the impossible membrane. Okay. The ancient Corvax machine hums faintly, blah, 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 blah. And it's going to give me a blueprint. Lovely. There we go. Impossible. I need freaking living water. What's living water when it's at home? Right there. Okay. Uh, living water. I'm not 100 percent sure how to get living water. I think, if I remember rightly, it's to do with something in in in. Okay, here we go. The void egg requires a shell. Gather living water to craft the impossible membrane. Seek living water in deep space. All right. Well, I'm probably going to have to come back here, aren't I? So if I just bring up my visor, and which button is it? Not that one. Not that one. I want to put down a freaking beacon right here. Let me put down a beacon. Normally you can, you can put down beacons, but that's not happening, is it? All right. Oh, whoops. Oh, double whoops. Okay, right. I guess we're not putting down a beacon then. Oh, here we go. Uh, it's got to be one of these. There we go. I got a beacon down. All right, so hopefully I can find my way back here is what I'm thinking, people. You know what I could have done? I should probably get rid, get rid of this bloody menu. There we go. What I could do... Oh, there's my beacon. It's moved again. Right, if I go into quick menu or build menu, I should be able to put down a beacon, one of these beacons instead. There you go. I could have just done that, couldn't I? Ha-ha! <laughs> okay, right, well, I need my shipity ship, and it's all the way back over there. I'm going to call it to me because I'm, I'm not walking that distance. Right, here we go. Let's go get this living water, shall we? Yeah. I want to put my ship. That one. Yeah, that one. Right there. There it comes. I'll tell you what. Using these move controllers is so much more immersive. But I'll tell you, it, it's, it's, it's fairly frustrating at times. Mainly because I'm just not used to them. Uh, and I forget which buttons they are by every 20 odd hours that we've got to wait. Alright, let's um, fly on up into the atmosphere then. Right. I think I might have to exit this. Position myself. Fly into yonder. I think it's pulsing. And I think it's a giant jalapash, if memory serves me right. I think. And it looks freaking awesome. If I'm right. If I'm wrong, we're going to be here for a while. There we go. 
This is the giant jellyfish. Told you. Boom. Hello, giant jellyfish. Acceptance, hope, willing. I'm going to crash into it in a moment. A wave of calm washes over me as my communicator turns itself to this beautiful giant. Its message is no longer conventional broadcast, but an analogue transmission of pure immersion. I let the feelings take hold as I contemplate the being before me. Uh, okay, request sacrifice. I make a request of the peaceful traveller before me. Despite having no shared language, it appears to understand me, even though I have, I have been accepting, respecting this. It convulses and I receive what I need. The being continues on its journey. Bye, jellyfish! Oh, yeah. There we go, now I can craft it. So let's go into the old inventory. Uh, yeah, I saw it. I'll just craft it here. There we go. Done. Right. Now let's head back to the old planet, shall we? There's my beacon and my double beacon. Yeah, I'm definitely not lost that one. It probably would have given us a marker, but, you know. I've had my fair share of sketchiness. Zoom! We're on our way! I guess I'll see you back down there, people. See you back down there. Righto, chums. And I, I did remember that there was time gates in this mission. I didn't think it was for every part. I just thought it was for the last part. I thought all these sort of organic chambery parts were fairly quick, but casting my mind back, no, nope, it was every single piece, wasn't it? Okay. Fine. Well, there is a reason why I want to do this anyway. Well, there's, there's two reasons, actually. Stop! Freaking... Stop! God! Okay, right. So there's two reasons why I want to do this. Right, so the first reason is, um, I think the Void Egg and the Void Ship is probably going to be the best bet of our tie to the Void Mother. So I think if I want a chance of seeing the Void Mother or going into the Void, I think I might need a Void Ship. A living ship is what I'm thinking. I mean, it might be a key essential piece or it might not be. The other reason I'm doing this is a lot of people have been telling me that the actual sacks that let you grow out the space of your living ship are no longer available no matter how many missions you send out from your frigates. So I want to get a few living vessels for my frigates and I want to see if that's the case. So here we go. Let's go and get this and insert materials. Chicka boom. Also, I thought this would be a very good way for me to get used to VR, which if you've been watching now, I haven't got any better, have I, since episode one? So, I don't know whether it will. Do these clusters, I think they're whatever. I've had enough of reading that. To be honest, the lore, as good as it is inside of the game, for, for the age range that it's aimed at, like 12 plus, whatever. Actually, it's Peggy 7, isn't it? Some of these words are freaking insanely... Uh, tongue twisters for the vast majority of young'uns, I'd imagine. Anyway, we've got our fragile shell. Yes, fragile shell is ours. Thank you. Yes. Okay, have we got to wait for it? Yes, another 20 hours. That wasn't expected. Haha, <laughs> was. All right, here we go. Let's, let's get in here then. Let's jump on out. Let's create a save. All right, people. Well, um, let's go into your quick menu. Let's uh, go into camera mode and, and get rid of that little menu. There's me, standing by my ship, about to say goodbye, people in the view of us. Goodbye. I'll see you in 20 hours when we get our next part, and then we'll go get another part and wait another 20 hours. Goodbye, people. Goodbye. Thank you for watching, people. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, if you like this, hit that like, subscribe. Well, you know what you're doing. Cheerio, bye.